Well, hey everybody, so it's probably Tuesday. I hope that it's Tuesday when you're seeing this video or something went horribly wrong, but it's me, Sean, and I'm with Pastor Jason Wallace. Uh, Jason, you just preached a great sermon, follow-up sermon on your series, uh, and it, this would have been a series of sorts. Uh, and this was um, the Holy Spirit doing some work in us, yeah, sanctification, man. us becoming more like Christ. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful thing to preach on, really important for the church, I think, in the time and age that we live in to hear messages on that topic. Um, but Jason, surely uh, you didn't have enough time to say everything you wanted to. Is there anything you want to tell the people? Yeah, so I, I've never cut so much out of a sermon. So this, this sermon had eight points originally, and we ended up doing three of them. Uh, which I'm glad we did, but I cut, we cut a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and so the, the one that I loved the most that we cut is, is really delving into the idea that, that sanctification is the plan of God and the plan of God to draw us near to himself. I wanted to, do, to go back to Leviticus where, they, where he talks about, like, all right, I want you to be holy as I am holy um, so that you might be mine, right? So the, the whole thing of God sanctifying us and making us, making us holy is because you can't be with God unless you're holy. Right. And so it's just this is God drawing us near to himself. This whole process is that. So I really wanted to say that. And, and it, it gives you the kind of the application of when you see these, these hard things in your life, when you see these things that are sanctifying you but they're difficult, it is God drawing you near. Right, so that can be might be a help, but we just had we had so much, and there's more I could say if we want. But um. well, I actually have one more question about regarding that. So in one of your in one of those services, you said that you did like six different versions. So this was version six or version mm -hmm. seven. So w were there any versions you wish you could have gone back to, or <laughs> no? It got it got, it got better. better each time. It got better. Yeah. yeah. I just can't imagine throwing away a paper or sermon like five or six times. Well, it was, it was the same thing that was just reorganized, move this point out, move that point out, put this point in. Like the the emphasis um, on fear and trembling, uh, that that was a later addition to the to the whole thing. But mm -hmm. um, but I don't know, but I wanted to put it in there. So I was, I was glad that that got in there and and. Uh, that's been helpful. So is that normal for your sermon making process? It's usually about five different or more iterations. Yeah, if I give myself the time. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, it it's hard when you is. have three boys. I can't imagine. Yeah, well, can and, you imagine Hartland doing this every week uh, and coming up with a sermon? Because you wouldn't have time to do, you know, seven different editions of it. So, right. so it, it was a lot of fun. I'm really, really glad and really happy to, uh, to, to be able to do it, and I hope it was helpful. Awesome, Jason. Well, hey, thanks for making a little bit of time to come into the studio. Yeah, man. See you.